What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Aries sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of March 21st and April 19th then you are an Aries sun sign and this video is for you. Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently today. We're using all oracle decks. We're going to be using three of them. And this is a little reading I like to call Healing the Shadow. And we all have a shadow aspect. It's the dark part of ourselves that many of us don't even see. And uh, we need to heal from it. We all do if we want to move forward as a, as a humanity. <laughs> so uh, this reading is designed to tell you where your shadow is hiding and how you can heal it. Uh, we're going to be using the Mortimer Column, the Keepers of the Light Oracle, and the crystal or wait, what is this called the crystal reading cards yeah the crystal reading cards so uh they're gonna tell us a bunch of things let's get right on into it without further ado and the first card we're gonna look at is this one and it represents uh where your shadow lies uh one thing i do want to say is that this is a general reading for a large group of people not everything is going to resonate okay uh, and i think you'll know right away <laughs> if uh, whether or not this reading resonates with you so um Keep that in mind as we move forward. All right, where does the shadow lie, Aries friends? We got the journey card. It's got the horse on it. And I'm getting the feeling here, um, definitely having to do with movement and travel. Give me a moment here. I'm getting a feeling of stagnation. I'm getting a feeling that maybe a lot of you uh, are feeling like, how do I put this? Your shadow is keeping you in place. Where your soul, your, your, your heart wants to move around and explore. I think your shadow is trying to keep you tethered to a, a location, trying to keep you in place, trying to keep you in a stuck routine that um, prevents you from moving around. And, uh, Obviously, this is something that's in desperate need of healing um, because from what I know of Aries, and this is a generalization, but a lot of you love to move around. You love to explore and be adventurous and travel and see the world and experience new things. And I think that your shadow side is holding you back from doing that to some degree. You know, we all have different... Um, our shadow has different... Um, how do I put this? For some of us, it's like all-encompassing and it invades our life and it rules our life. For others, it's just a thing that's kind of nagging at us. So, you know, we all fall somewhere on that spectrum. So, uh, decide, you know, well, don't decide anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's keep it at that. Let's just say that I, I feel as though your shadow is holding you back from exploring and seeing new things and, and experiencing new things. It's the feeling I'm getting. So let's go on to this card here. This card represents um, what healing energy you can focus on to heal your shadow. And we've got Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. Ah, so you know, when you think of the Buddha, you think of an ordinary person suddenly, well, maybe not suddenly, but becoming spiritually aware of seeing things from a higher vantage point. Going from a person who, you know, doesn't understand what they're doing on this planet, is just lost and confused, to having a spiritual awakening and suddenly seeing their place, understanding what they're meant to be doing, and understanding what their soul's purpose here is on this planet. And I think in order to heal your shadow, I think a lot of you may have to raise your vibration, raise your consciousness, raise your level of spirituality to a point where you can truly see your shadow where you can have a better understanding of your shadow you know it's like sun tzu says in order uh, in the art of war is you know the more that you understand your enemy not that your shadow is your enemy just just a i'm just drawing a um what's the word <laughs> i'm just uh, making a comparison but the more you understand your enemy the better you can defeat it uh, the more you understand your shadow, the better you can heal it. And I think that's what Master Buddha here is saying, is increase your awareness. The more that you're aware of your shadow and how it's stopping you, or holding you back, or preventing what you want to do, the more you can um, make take steps to fix it, and heal it, and move forward past it. Uh, so this is an easy thing to say, but uh, trust your inner voice, deep connection. I think that that's here to tell us that uh, you have to 
really connect with your higher self and i think that's really what it comes down to is connection to your higher self to your soul whatever you want to call it that light that is inside of you and the more that you can connect to it the more you will understand your shadow and understand its role in your life and understand how you can heal it so uh, it's about finding that connection to you <laughs> okay uh, it's uh hard if you don't know about your higher self well you got a lot to learn and uh, please feel free to ask comments in the comment section and I will do my best to explain. Uh, but basically it's just your soul. It's your soul who is who's an entity and uh, it's it's a bit different from your ego, right? It's, it's who you truly are on an energetic level, not, and your ego is who you are on an earth level, right? Your ego, you, who you think you are possibly, uh, is just a collection of learned behaviors and um, learned responses. Uh, but your soul is much higher than that. So the, the more you can connect to your, your higher self, the better. Okay, so let's move on over here. This card represents what healing or crystal energy, if you're into crystals, can help you to heal your shadow, Aries friends. And we've got Hiddenite, Gratitude. Hiddenite is a, um, a heart chakra stone, and I think... I think gratitude is the key to everything, but I think in this case, I think what we're being told here, Aries friends, is that perhaps, and this is not going to pertain to all of you again, but perhaps you're not being grateful enough for what you have currently. And that is causing you to kind of be in a lower state of vibration, which is causing your shadow to have a bigger role in your life, which is causing you to not be able to explore and move around as much as you'd like. It's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. I think we need to open up that heart chakra. I think we need to focus on the green chakra and open that up. And, you know, with it comes gratitude, being completely happy. You know, when we talk about the law of attraction, we, we say that, you know, what, however we feel and however we think uh, kind of creates our reality. We, the universe feeds it back to us. And if you're not being grateful for what you have, it's sort of like you're sending a, a signal to the universe that, you know, I am unhappy. And you know what the universe does? It's like a mirror. It reflects back to you. So it's going to reflect back to you things to be unhappy about. That's how it works. But if you can open up to gratitude and express gratitude and feel gratitude for everything that you have, even if it's not exactly where you want to be, you still have air, you still have water, you still have food and shelter and clothes and all these things. If you can show gratitude, you're going to be sending out a, a message to the universe that I love all these things that I have. And you know what the universe is going to do? It's going to reflect back to you things that you love, okay? It's going to reflect back to you travel and exploration and adventure. But you have to show gratitude first. So if you can find some Hiddenite, that's great. It's not the most uh, readily available stone, but it's out there. So, uh, and you know, any really, any heart chakra stone is going to help you tremendously, whether it's rose quartz or green adventuring or, you know, whatever it is, you know, even clear quartz would be great. If you use it in meditation, place it on your heart and just, and feel your, your, your heart opening and expanding and see green light emanating from your heart and expanding as wide as you can go, take it and just be, be grateful for everything that you do have. Okay. Maybe you live in a cardboard box, but you have a roof over your head. You're shielded from the elements. Be grateful. Be grateful for that. So in review, uh, now that we've seen all the cards, Aries friends, I do feel as though your shadow is stopping you from being that adventurous spirit that you want to be in. Maybe this doesn't have to necessarily pertain to physical travel, but maybe this is just movement, right? Maybe I, I get the feeling of stagnation a little bit and, you, and your shadow is trying to keep you stagnant. And uh, I think Master Buddha is here to teach you to get in contact with your higher self, the higher realms. The more you can get in contact with the higher realms, the more you'll see your shadow for exactly what it is, and the more you'll be able to heal it. And uh, if you need to, if you work with crystals, Hidden Night's a great one. But if you don't, I mean, just, just focus on gratitude. Focus on showing appreciation for all the things that you have. And that's going to allow you to raise your vibration. That's going to allow you to get in touch with your higher self. That's going to allow you to understand your shadow from a higher vantage point. And in doing so, you raise your vibration. You raise the vibration of the people you interact with. And you raise the vibration of the planet, which is what this planet so desperately needs. 
all right aries friends i hope that made some sense i hope you guys enjoyed that again this is a general reading not everything applies to everybody uh, if this doesn't doesn't resonate with you then you always have the option of booking a personal reading with me through my website lightofriga.com the link is in the description uh be sure to like if you got something out of this reading uh share subscribe do all those youtube things i really do appreciate it and I want to thank you for watching. So much love and light to you, Aries friends. I wish you luck in healing your shadow. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.